Professor uh, Alicia Fig, uh, Professor Fig, to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle to start off term feast and the sorting ceremony. Uh, you are sincerely Professor Weasley. Ooh, okay. Deputy Headmistress. Um, that's our story, it seems like. That's our backstory. We are a, uh, you know, fifth year student. So, let's do this. Let's get it. And just uh, what we saw in one of the trailers, the very, very bare things. Uh, character creation, which is supposedly very great. Um, I know some of this stuff we probably could have done a little bit early on. Which is good, which is fine. But, um... I think it's cool that I like to just dive right into the game with it. I kind of like this setup, so we're going to go with that as our base. Obviously, we're going to pick male, so that's fine. Uh, you know, I want to got to be a little bit tanner. Um, yeah, that'll work. Face shape. Hmm. I like I like this one. This kind of kind of cool. Okay, uh, so we got that. Let's get the haircut, man. Well, we uh, what do we want our wizard to bear in the hair? Oh shit! Look at this. Wow, that's crazy. Um. A lot of good cuts, man. There's a lot of good cuts. Oh, shit. I kind of like that. Oh, dude, you know what? You can <laughs> straight up cornrows, bro. That is wild. Um, dude, I'm a fan of this because I could never pull off hair like that myself. But I'm really a fan of this. I like the long hair and I like the short on the sides. That's pretty dope. I like this is a nice flow. I like this flow. Something about that speaks to me. I don't know why, but it speaks. Um, all right. So, can we color the fucking hair or something? How do I do that? Can I color his hair? Oh, oh, wait, wait. If I use my eyes, then that would have been great, right? Just give this man's white hair. Okay. Uh, kind of make him uh, a little bit of a ginger. That's cool. Get some brown hair going. Um, nah. Uh, I don't know. What do we... Uh, it's kind of weird. I don't know if I want to do all that shit. I like some of the dark, though. It's black, white. Um... I don't know, I like this hair color. A little bit of red, but not too much. This ain't bad. This ain't bad. You know what, yeah, let's, uh, let's rock that. Let's rock that. Complexion. Not really big on freckles, so I don't, you know, I'm not a big freckles guy, in my opinion. A little bit is fine, but like not too much. Um, scars and shit. Um, can't do the Thunderbolt, right? No, that's not trying to be Harry Potter, I guess. That's okay. Oh shit, that's just fucking gross, bro. Um, not about that. I don't know if I want the scars, bro. Nah, I don't, I don't... Not really feeling it. Not really feeling it. Could be cool, but, you know, for me, not feeling it. Um, alright. <clears throat> so, eye color. Uh...
Yeah, let's go with some darker, you know, darker blue, for sure. It's not bad. That ain't bad either. Okay. Hmm. It's kind of big old caterpillars on his face, man. Not trying to have that. Well, not really, I guess. Um, this ain't bad either. I fuck with this. Okay, okay. I'm all right with that. All right. So voice tone. Well, oh, voice one or voice two. A student, but I could very well be able to help you. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. We'll work with that. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. That was quite something. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. A few cobwebs and some dust. Now, I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. It was wonderful. I believe what? I'm really going to enjoy this class. Some of the voices are uh, a little interesting. I guess that's kind of lame in my opinion. Very like high pitched, like stereo sounding. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, we'll do normal balance gameplay challenge. We ain't no pussy. Um, name your character. Damn. What do we want to name this guy? Damn it. Um. I want to do it like, you know, something, something really cool. Something like Harry Potter style. Um, something of that world. Eh, fuck it. I usually would probably put like, you know, whenever I play those sports games, I usually do uh, something fitting, you know, like Nick Fitzgerald or whatever, but I think for now we're gonna do Nigel. I don't think that's, I don't think that's bad. So we'll do Ni uh, a Nigel Fitzgerald, because Fitzgerald still works. I think that's still kind of up there, even in, in this tone and setting. Uh, okay, so Nigel Fitzgerald. Alright, Nigel Fitzgerald. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Uh, this choice will determine your player's. Uh, this choice will determine your player character's dormitory, witch or wizard. Well, we are a guy. In this sense, um, so we're a wizard. So let's do that. Now, I hope you guys enjoy. I've waited quite some time for this. I wouldn't classify myself as one of the bigger Hogwarts Harry Potter fans out there. Pretty big nonetheless. But I am very, very stoked for this game. Long time coming. Let's do this. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force <sighs> to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fink. I appreciate you working with me before the term begins. Holy shit. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. A 
ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Let's go. Holy shit, bro. Dude. Companion. A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions mm. differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Ranrock. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. What the hell? Man, oh shit! How did you wait? We did. Oh my god! Oh fucking hell! Bro. Oh, I know you ain't about to. Well, that's just fantastic. Oh, my goodness. That's just phenomenal, dude. You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will want you in a second. Can I heal ourselves? 
I really hope that uh, other professor is not dead, but there's a chance he could be. That seems like a tremendous call George. and whatnot. I can't believe he. Uh, what the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Hmm. Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Hmm. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Okay. That did not go as planned. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you the think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she... And now George died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If huh. you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Okay. Mind your the, step. The path to high wars. Follow Professor Fig. Where do you suppose your wife got the poor key to brought us home? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Hmm. Focus on the center. Let's get it. Nice. Destroy the magical bear. Alright, use your camera as a select an active target. Some players prefer to select hot, uh, targets and move the avatar with the same stick by disabling camera relative targeting and settings. Shit. Was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Oh, 
Your wand works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. <laughs> every time you cast a spell, man. Your controller fucking vibrates and shit. That's wild. Let's see if there's anything around with chest. We're close now. It's just ahead. Someone have built this here. I suspect they value their privacy. That portkey led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. The mini map shows your surroundings with you in the middle. This is your current objective. Press to toggle the quest objective details. At the Hogwarts. Okay, we need to explore the mysterious ruins. And then find a port key. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. Enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? The hell? Professor Fig. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. It's 
pretty interesting that I can. I'm the only one that can see all this. Wake the goblin. Godric's heart. Where are we? Oh. I don't believe it. Wake the goblin. Hello. I wonder if it's all relating back to our character, our wizard. After you. Dude, this is an amazing beginning. Boy. You'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vault is Our private entrances to the bank common at Green Dots? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power or both could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? It's a security measure. Experience the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the numbers of us that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Interesting. Here we are. All right, follow Professor Fig. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Oof. Vault 12. <clears throat> Thank 
cheap for your help. <coughs> Fuck, excuse me. Alright, follow him again. Clearly. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Oi! <laughs> <sighs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Uh, that's Let weird. Me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. <clears throat> Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. <sighs> Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready Hello, weird. Wand and focus. Revelio. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Okay. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward... Revelio, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. All right. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Revelio. Yes. Hmm. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Ooh, what the? Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, what? it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. All right, Lumos. Okay, you've acquired the wand, lighting charm, Lumos. Which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. Revelio. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Holy fuck. Okay. Oh, that's 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 not good. Let me 
Uh, okay. Pateco, Pateco, incoming enemy attack. It's your boy. Oh shit! Ouch. Some days ago, that's nice. Darkness, we came upon a statue, the reflection was visible to me. When I aligned the statue, the reflection got like this. Professor! Like this bitch up. Professor Fig! Professor, where are oh, you? Oh, that's not good. This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. That's where they're leading me. So, here's another one. Ah. Oh. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Lumos. align these statues with their reflections. Um. Revelio. Lumos. I need to get them all to stand at once. Seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Oh, fuck. Yo, dip. Uh, I was about to say, like, I, I hate triangle, bro. Yeah, I've been doing that. I've been actually protecting myself. Oh fuck, I did not see him coming though, bro.
Lumos. Okay, I think we did it. Revelio. Lumos. <clears throat> now I'm gonna find Fig now. Sprinting. There it is. There's that lighting object thing. Investigate. Alright, uh, so go through that door. Maybe. Yeah. Definitely. The debris that was left behind began swirling around and the chaos that somehow became separated. No idea where he is, where I am. It's gotta be right though. It's the only thing to mess with. The poor key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes. And if we are correct, Charles, <coughs> the witcher wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge mm. and the responsibility that accompanies it. Hmm. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were it all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't oh. know. But sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Renrock. Renrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. 
Sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. Uh... I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Wow. Right out of the get go. Yeah. Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Huh. All right. What a fucking beginning, man. Dude. There she is. Forty Games, Hogwarts Legacy. This might just be a game we gotta play a couple times. ceremony I'm no expert but that seems more appropriate now there we go I need to study this locket as soon as there we I go can, indeed first I must contact the ministry they need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock for the moment I ask <coughs> that you keep all that's happened this evening between you <coughs> and me of course sir thank you ready for the sorting ceremony Phineas Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig. Nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were... complications. Complications? 
It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. All right. All right. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Wow, the moment of truth, huh? Let's see how this goes. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain <laughs> expectations. So... <laughs> With the sorting hat, <clears throat> this is kind of cool because I don't want to just pick one. I want the hat to pick me. I want to end up where I'm supposed to be. So I know everybody and their mom is going to pretty much try to pick Gryffindor or Slytherin. If I end up with one of those, that's okay. But I don't want it to be just a preference. So I do know there was a lot of steps that you could actually do prior to the game being launched, um, when which you would already be um, with your designated uh, designated house. But we're going to answer these questions, and we're going to figure out where we belong. That's how it's supposed to be done. That's how what makes it, that's what makes it fun. So let's get it. Uh, we have our two, first two preferences on the left. I can't wait to start classes. I can't wait to explore. Well, being real with you, Classes are important. I really can't wait to explore. In my opinion, I think that's forward to exploring Hogwarts and a little bit better. In my opinion, mm, indeed, much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm, I wonder. Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm. What is it? All right, so what are we? Daring, curiosity, loyalty, ambition. So, I'm curious. Daring, loyalty, ambition. Hmm. I think I have great ambition. Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that's a good answer. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition. An eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. Uh, okay. So those couple questions determine where we belong. The Sorting Hat will take your chan uh, take your choice into account when sorting you into your house. Slytherin house, known for cunning, ambition, and a hunger for power. Um, the sorting hat will take your choice into account when sorting you into your house. So he's, so that, so this hat is thinking we belong in Slytherin. I'd be okay with that. I would actually be okay with that. <clears throat> but let me see what 
Ravenclaw house known for intelligence, creativity, and wit. Intelligence, creativity, and wit. Hufflepuff, known for patience, loyalty, and hard work. So that's what I was that's what I was thinking. Um daring, bravery, and chivalry. Um yeah, that's what I was thinking. I, I knew that kind of based on Slytherin or Hufflepuff, we would end up in one or the other. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I mean, we can accept we can accept Slytherin. I do kind of like Hufflepuff because nobody ever talks about them. But I don't want to go. A growing sense of ambition and eagerness. I don't. I, this is a tough choice, <clears throat> but but I don't want to. I don't want to go against what I just said. So I don't want to pick. I just answered the questions. Slytherin, it is. If it still has us, go there. Let's try to accept it. So yes, that's probably what's going to happen. The sword who makes an entrance. You belong in Slytherin. Slytherin. Okay. And that's okay. I'm alright with that. And now we wear that black and green. I'm okay with that. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's I'm okay. final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. That's fucked up. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. All right. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. All right. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. A giant snake, look at that. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. And each room is customizable, or each common room is customizable based on your house. Um, that was also something in a trailer that I did learn, but didn't look too much into. So, yeah, pretty. Uh, everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. <clears throat> pretty much make pretty much makes sense. All right, so we got our first night's sleep. <clears throat> we got our house. We're sorted. We're well on our way. I'm going to end this episode here. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to this amazing first episode. I'm pretty pumped to be playing Hogwarts Legacy already. Um, keep a lookout for part number two. We're going to have that one coming up right up next here. Don't miss a thing. Till that one. Peace.